So screening, these are the tools we need to be able to do the job. So on a professional capacity, you'll see what this is. This is the probe screeder. It's adjustable, so I think it goes to three meters or you can take these side bits off and you can reduce the size of that. We'll show you that, so stay tuned how that works. And to go with it, we've got these screed rails and what they do, show them the end of that look free. So that's the end of that one. And if you show them this one, then obviously they just clip in and that goes inside there. So that all comes as a kit. Or you can buy these. Now this is just a 20 millimeter um, electrical conduit, steel conduit. You can get it in screw fix. And what they do, look, they have these little adapters and you can screw that on onto there. That screws on there. And then another one would screw on to here to extend it. So if you haven't got that and you don't want to pay for that, you can use this. Or if you're a DIYer and you don't want to purchase all this kind of stuff and you're just doing a drive once, what you can do, you can use a piece of roofing batten. So it's two by one roofing batten. We've put that in as a screeder, as a screed rail, just to start us off, because we've got a split level here. Um, so yeah, you can either use either one of those tools to do your project. Right then, once you've got your, uh, your, compact, your compacted base in and uh, your screed rails all, all ready to rock and roll, then uh, your next step is um, setting your lines up. So what we've got here is our line here, set up off our finished level where we want it, and the same down at the other end, down by the Eagle Drains. And what we've done is we've um, put some spaces underneath it to make it 10 mil higher, so that when our water, water falls down the drive, it actually goes into the, into the Eagle Drains. And, um, that leaves us room for compaction as well when we whack it on top. Um, so yeah, that line now represents our, our finished height of the driveway. So once you put your, once you get your, your screed rail or your batten or your conduit or whatever in, you just get in your pavia and you want your pavia to just, just be touching the line there. That end, down that end, and you're ready, ready to screed on him. So you've got that one set up now, look. You can see the screed rail under the floor in there. So when you put the, the pavia that we're using on top of the screed rail, it touches the top of the line as if you're laying bricks. So that's what you're looking for. So just to explain this line, this, this pink line in a little bit more detail, that there is coming across that level and then this goes down to that level. So it's kind of humping it, it's like a split level. Reason being, the customer didn't want to walk out of her door onto an uneven surface. She wanted to walk out onto something that's more level um, than this severe slope we've got going on here. So we've had to put a split level in it. So what we've done, we've worked our bond out. So we've gone from there to there, 950 mil, which is, I don't know, I think it was like five courses of these, uh, of these bricks. So that takes us to the pink line on bond, five courses out on bond to the line. And then we've transferred the 950 mil over from there Fraser measured it onto there 950 mil now this side she wanted this side to go in line with a flower bed so it's not coming out like this and then going like that like the other side that side is going perfectly straight all the way down to there so we've got to try and twist the level of the drive which is why this pink line is in so what we'll do we'll put another piece of batten in there now and then we'll kink this off down to here and set that one up and then when we set that one up the kink or the split level will be gone that will just be a complete straight line and hopefully when the job's done you won't even be able to uh to notice it in that right for you
Right, so when you uh, do eventually get your screed in, you don't want to be doing too much and uh, taking on too much at one time. So what we like to do is separate it into different bays. So we got it half and half. So that half will be one screeded section. This half will be another one. And it works out because our screeding, our screeding rail, uh, screeding rod is only about three meters wide anyway. And this is about six, so it works out perfectly halfway. Screed rails are all in now. We're using this bad boy. If you don't have one, you can always use a bit of a uh, three by two. Just use this now, put it in. If you're using your three by two, same thing. Make sure you're touching both sides and pull back. Right, so there we are then, it's screeded, it's all been laid, it's all perfect, it ticks all the boxes. In terms of the screed layer, if anybody's wondering, what we used on this was a 6mm um, limestone, limestone chipping. You can also use sharp sand if you want to, or you can use a grano dust. We prefer to use a 6mm chipping. Um, you can use it in the rain, because it rains a lot in Wales, and I just think it's a better, more durable job. So there we are job done next video is going to be about the cuts on the sides and the front and how and the principle of how we do it and what machines we use to do it and how we mark it out etc so stay tuned for the next video until then please like subscribe and see you on the next one cheers